All right, so I'm going to show how to open up an Asus um, UX501V. So first what you want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. So there's two screws under these rubber caps that are Phillips um, PH1. Uh, um, and then after that, you want to remove all the screws around the frame. These are Torx T5 screws. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, so remove all those screws and then after that what you want to do is you need to get like a thin pry tool and go around the side the side edge and the front edge the back is going to be stuck because there's some like little clips there so what you want to do is lift this and then kind of wiggle this and you can pull this out just like that so here you can actually see the little clips from the back that are holding in place so you don't want to pry from the back or you'll end up breaking these um, you'll rip the plastic, either rip the plastic away or you'll break these clips, okay? So it's a little tough to do because it's like a tight fit, um, but yeah, just go around the edges and the front, and then um, if you use a pry tool, make sure you don't stick anything too far because you can damage things. Um, but yeah, try and get between the front and that. Or if you want, you can use um, a suction cup, but I feel there's less control because if you do that, you quickly will like yank it up and you can damage something. But if you want, you can, yeah, use a suction cup, push, like, and then just pull on the front, the center up here. You should be able to get it open. <clears throat> okay. So once you get that open, um, as you can see, there's an SSD. I believe this is a PCIe NVMe M.2 SSD. And then you got some RAM. Let me see if I can show you what type of RAM. There you go. Um, they don't mark this. This looks like DDR4 memory. So this is um, DDR4, PC4. I'm not sure the speed, but most likely you'll be able to use any DDR4 memory. Um, it looks like there's only one stick here though, so yeah. All right, the board looks pretty thin, so I doubt there's a slot for a second one. Um, the battery is here. To remove the battery, you don't pull on this connector. It's actually, um, you pry it up. So on the two outer side edges, um, usually I just use my fingernail, but make sure you're not going underneath the whole um, connector here. You just want to go underneath this, the part that's sticking out on the sides. So you just get it. I use my fingernails because I can feel what I'm grabbing, and then you kind of just pull it up like that. So again, make sure you're just underneath this. You don't. You want to make sure you're not prying underneath the part that's on the board, or you can rip that out of the board. Okay. So, yeah. So there's the battery. There's the CMOS battery. Just like all the other connectors for these types, um, you grab the edges and you just wiggle it and pull it back. Okay. Same thing with the speaker connector here. So you can see it's the same type as the CMOS battery. So. Both speakers are connect to the same spot. This speaker connects all the way across and then goes up to this one. All right, then you got the, I believe these are the trackpad. Are these trackpad buttons here? Let me see here. No, those are just LEDs. So this is the LED board. LED board connects up here. Then you got the trackpad connector. You got the keyboard backlight connector. You got the keyboard connector. All of these connectors, you just flip up this little latch like that, and then you can pull this cable out. So yeah, if you're gonna work on this stuff, um, best to take the battery out first, hold the power button for like 30 seconds to make sure you're safe. Um, but I know what I'm doing, I've done this a lot, so I'll be okay. Um, but yeah, if you're gonna start taking things apart, you wanna remove the battery and then hold the power button for 30 seconds to be safe. Um, you, The most dangerous thing to take out if you haven't drained the battery is the LCD connector. So this is the LCD connector. Um, yeah, you basically just pull these up a lot of times these parts they'll get stuck Like if you try and yank on it, it won't come out So what I do is I kind of help it by using my fingernail and prying up the edge while I'm pulling on this Okay, then you got the fan held in with three screws the fan connectors right here other fan also three screws held in with another connector here and then Got the wireless card held in with one screw. When you undo this, it'll pop up at an angle, and then you can wiggle this out. Um, to remove the antenna cables, you just get close to the tail, and then you pull it up so that it'll pry up like this, okay? Don't try and pry up from the, the front end of it because you can damage it, okay? Um, it looks like that's pretty much it. 
Um, I'm not sure what this connector here is for, but it looks like it could possibly be a hard drive connector. Um, maybe on some models they have a smaller battery and then they put a hard drive here. I'm not too sure because it doesn't say exactly. J5105, I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, the CPU and the GPU, they're all um, soldered to the board so you can't really upgrade them or anything. Um, but you can take it out and redo thermal paste if you need to. And that's pretty much it. Um, the screen looks pretty easy to change if you need to take the whole um, whole panel off. You just have to disconnect the wireless antennas and the LCD cable. And then undo the hinges, open it up 90 degrees, and you can take it out. It should be simple. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, there's not really anything else to show on here. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thanks for watching. Bye.